KP and Envy. Shorty, swing my way. Shout it, shout. What your name is? It's 14 minutes after the hour, and my name is the Green Eyed Bandit, along with that bad man, comedian Valley Bell, and the elder statesman of the crew, the resident baddest comedian on the planet. He is comedian Chucky. Black, black. Well, today is my baby's birthday. Yeah, you know, today is Oprah Winfrey's birthday. She's 60 years old. And, you know, I know you didn't hear this, Vail, but, you know, me and, uh, 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 like me and Vail, you know, you know, Vail was trying to compete for Oprah's love, you know, but she chose me. Hey, man, she chose me, Vail. So, man, don't, you know what I'm saying? When I say this about Oprah, man, don't, you know, don't hate on me now, V. Because, uh, I thought Beyonce was your woman. Yeah, I, I got listen, man. Out. Listen, y'all hold up. Listen here. They used to call me Oklahoma Will. I got more than one woman. Okay, I got more than one. You know, I don't really want to be my woman. She can be my side chick. As long as I can get that bank account. Boy, listen here. Now, now, Bella, Bella, you stop that. You stop that line right now in this show. You know damn well, if Oprah, you. You'd marry Oprah in front of everybody. You stop this line now, Vail. Yeah, you right. You, know? no, <laughs> yeah, you do it. I, I, I don't mind being the second dude either. <laughs> Listen, you'd be the first dude because Stat, but I think he probably like you more than her. Stedman have a fight. Stedman ain't old. Yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, man. Talk Titan Oprah Winfrey hits a personal milestone on January 29th on her 60th birthday. But as she marks six decades of life, her fans are celebrating more than 30 years of her cultural impact. Guys, make no mistake about it. Oprah Winfrey is a cultural icon. This woman has literally transformed talk TV. In 1983, she made the small transition from a small time TV news to heading a Chicago morning show that would eventually morph her career into the hit making Oprah Winfrey show. From there, she went to become a magazine runner, network owner, and a well-respected actress. Now, let's hit a couple of milestones that you might know from the Oprah Winfrey show that are really, really notable. The wagon the wagon of fat when she wheeled out a little red wagon filled with 67 pounds of fat back in 1988. Man, that was a milestone. Age divided a small town. Williamson, West Virginia. A long running bloody feud between the Hatfields and McCoys, but Oprah went there. It was about the AIDS impact. It was about the AIDS impact. Also, dig this. Tom Cruise jumps on the couch. Yeah, he got excited when he was announcing his romance with Katie Holmes and started jumping all up on the couch. And I know you remember this. Battle of the Beat. They were down Shucky's way. Yeah. When news of mad cow disease hit, Winfrey declared that she'd eaten her last hamburger. The Texas cattleman said that she hurt their business. Man, listen, man. A two-month trial ensued after that. Oprah went to Texas and took on the Texas cattleman. She won and found a newfound respect for people across the country because, listen, Oprah is a fighter. She's a fighter. She ain't taking no stuff. So, gentlemen, what when you think about Oprah Winfrey, what is your perception of that cultural icon, Shucky? Well, you got to understand uh, how Oprah Winfrey evolved, and okay. I, I was in uh, Chicago. I was living in Chicago around about eighty-one, okay, eighty-two, right in that area. And what happened was, Phil Dunne was had his show in Chicago. Uh huh. Phil Dunne and Phil Dunne who was leaving Chicago, going to New York. Okay. And so they was trying to find something to fill that void of talk shows in in Chicago, and they had a thing called Eight M Chicago with Rob Wheeler. Rob Wheeler was the uh, host of that show, but okay. they couldn't get up the ratings. And so uh, next thing you know, they give it to Oprah Winfrey to give it a shot. If you notice that Oprah Winfrey show was more like a Jerry Springer show at first, it had a lot of that. Uh, uh, all your back and forth baiting and everything uh, topics going, going, in that, uh, going in that direction and uh-huh. then when Quincy Jones came to Chicago to uh, to settle, go to court for Michael Jackson for a copyright infringement thing he was uh-huh. watching television and he saw Oprah and he said that's my uh, Sophia uh, 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 for Oprah for the uh, color purple that's uh-huh. her that's her and so he got in touch with her 
and she became got on the color purple and then it became as as a while they said we're going to do a national television thing we're going to open up a national because she became national uh, at the same time of with uh, with the color purple okay but she evolved she evolved oh, yeah. and uh, oh, uh and, and then black people got on her because they were feeling like she wasn't representing black people in a positive light uh-huh and so she changed the whole concept and she said i'm gonna start being more positive more positive she uh-huh. started being more positive then white black people got on her talking about she was acting too white right you know what that is like the damn greatest synopsis of oprah's career in a nutshell i've heard in quite some time that is straight on point man no doubt wow well, what's your thoughts, man, about my baby's mama? Well, she ain't got no babies yet, but I'm, you know, she ain't too old. You know, she got money. They will, she will have somebody carry the baby for us. You know what I'm talking about? What's your thoughts about the cultural icon that is Oprah Winfrey, sir? Man, I just love Oprah. I, I, I just love what she's done as a black woman. Most, most definitely that on on network, not no TV show. She got her own what? network. What? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah, uh- you know. And, Black people have always put her down. Some she ain't this, she ain't that. But them is them is just I call them haters. But you know why they doing it? Because they want to do where she at. And that's I mean, you just right. Gotta, you just gotta that's take your right. hat off to her. I love what she do. I just you know I love I love positive people. Period. It don't matter if you white or black. But I especially love because she black and that's she right. doing it. But you know so. yeah, also, that's right. Also man. look at also look at the number of shows and people that she has produced. Doctor uh-huh. Field is one. Came out yep. of that cattle thing. Uh-huh. She had this, uh, uh, problems with the uh, mad cow disease sure. with, the, with, the, with the Texas range uh, ra- uh, 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 ranchers. With the uh-huh. Doctor Field came out of that. That's what she. Uh, uh, I never knew that. Dr. Field and Craig Doctor. I didn't. I didn't know uh, it either. Hell, I'm t- know well, let me tell you. You get an education when you're talking with Shucky about some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, He'll yeah, let yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know that. Hell, I was sitting there listening to Shucky and like, wow. I love when Shucky mm-hmm. starts. You know, I mean, obviously he's a comedian and a funny guy, but I love when he starts talking about stuff that's not funny. Like, when he just gave us the whole backdrop of Oprah, I didn't have no damn clue about none of that. I was like, wow, really? For sure enough? Wow, really? <laughs> we, just talk, we, yeah. just talk, we just talked the other day about, you know, the comedy. How, you know, as being a newcomer, I always ask some questions about how to get out there and the story. You, you show better. Let me tell you something. You show better ask him. You show better ask him. You show better. You asking the right one. That's right. Yeah. Well, you know what, guys? We've been talking about this tour. I'm excited about this. We have definitely got to do this. Family, we make jokes all the time. We laugh and play. That's what we do. But you can dig this. We coming to a city near you real soon. We'll be there. We coming. We coming. We haven't figured out just quite right. Just yeah, how we gonna do it? But we have got to make this happen, man. We gotta make this happen, man. I, I know that we can and will make this happen. So it's 22 minutes after the hour. Gentlemen, before we get into the Sunrise Double Play today, as well as the Sunrise Comedy Showcase, and then we got that man checking in from 365 The Jams, DJ Freddy Fred with the Sunrise Morning Mix. I want you to... Give some words of wisdom, some love to our Hump Day Radio listeners as we make way for the music and the comedy showcase, as well as the morning mix. Comedian Veli Vell, America's Got Talent, my man, 50 Grand. I just want to tell everybody to really, you know, uh, start complaining about what you ain't got to be blessed with what you got. Mm. Uh, we, we, all, we all, you know, want, want that. Want to be better, want to be this, want to be that. But thank God today of what you got and where you been. I thank him every day, you know. So just just thank God for what you got today. All right. That's right, because you definitely got talent. Yeah. That's right. He <laughs> definitely, definitely got talent. You know, Val, when I was working with you when you was in junior high, I said one day, one day, if you keep working on your craft, you'll go far. <laughs> used to tell me that all the time. Say you a class clown. I can't tell you, but one day you. I never forget. I said. He said, "I can't stand your big, big old she funny did too. She self." Said, I love but you. one day you go. Stand you, but you gonna be you something. Leaving my class. She sent me to the office every day, though. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, 
Every day, you and the prince was in there having lunch and shit. And I was like, y'all was free. <laughs> y'all was yeah. free. It's, uh, hey, uh, coffee today? Creamer? What is it, sugar? Wait. Hey, he used to check his head. Every time I had my own person in the chair. He, that's how he said, go take your chair to the next thing. Like, <laughs> God damn. You said, you said, he used to tell you to go sit in your chair, huh? Yeah, I ain't like that. We talked him today. Every time I go to Bristol and see one of my teachers, they, I'm telling you, they. <laughs> I love them though, man. I wish you know I what, I, man. You I know what? I, I want to be out of school, man. I wish I could go back. Oh my God! You know it's funny, guys, and, because and, and so, yeah, go back and make up for what you should have been doing. You yeah, ain't yeah, lying. Yeah, you yeah, ain't yeah. lying. Well, you know what, man? That I have some of those same stories too. People are, you know, know a lot of the work that I'm in, and they, they're, you know, most oftentimes they're not surprised. They said, "I that yeah, that's you. That's." That's right along with with you. I was actually a major, major class clown as well, man. It was interesting for me because my father was also a teacher in the school that I attended, which could be um, not very good a lot of times when you doing what I, type of stuff I was doing. I wasn't doing no criminal type stuff, but like um, like homemaking and stuff like that and family living and stuff, they would like cook food and stuff. Man, I eat up all the food, drink all the milk, eat the cookies up, everything. They used to have to hide. They would cook. Okay, they would have family living class and stuff before I got into home economics in the fourth hour before lunch. Yeah, they had to start hiding the food because I would kill that joint, boy. Boy, I shut it down. Eat up everything. Well, mine's a little bit contrast from y'all because I was people were surprised that I'm a stand-up comedian and a that because I was very shy in school and I didn't really? talk to very many people. Huh. So I, uh, I, uh, I, didn't, uh, uh, I didn't stand out in school. So uh, okay. they, they were surprised when they see me now. They said, man, did that Cecil Armstrong? Wow. <laughs> did that Cecil Armstrong? <laughs> no, wow. that's that sugar ducky, quack, quack. Already, no doubt about it. I love that name too, man. That's a very you know what, brother? That's a powerful name, Shuck. I mean, when you say that, Jack, that's powerful. Cecil Armstrong. Oh, I mean, that's a name. It. That's that's a name right there, now, Jack. You saying something? <laughs> you say Shuck's name is crazy because I tell people, you know, just been a newcomer in the game, they be like, "How you on a radio station with Shucky Ducky?" They quit. They be like, "Quit lying." I be like, "Lie for <laughs> Yeah. You know Shucky. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what, man? Go a long way. Uh, you know what, man? I, I try to tell Shucky this all the time. I don't even realize, you know, we joke and play and laugh. I don't even think Shucky realizes his own self, how large he is and how big that statement is and how it permeates through the American consciousness. Man, let me tell you. My niece plays soccer for the University of Oregon. The Ducks, the Oregon Ducks. Went to go see him play. And you know what I was shy. This is before I reconnected with Shucky. I reconnect. I've interviewed Shucky many times on the air before I met him in person. We never knew each other. But I always said this, even before I knew Shucky. Shucky Ducky, quack, quack. Now, of course, he's from Shucky. I went to Oregon. And why are, why are in the universe, that is one of the sayings that they say right now, the football team and basketball team. Shucky, quack, quack. Shucky, you a legend, man. You a legend. You're a legend. You're a legend. I mean, I'm old. That's right, man. So, <laughs> we, Shucky Ducky, Quack Quack, and Shucky, what do you have That's for it. the family as we make way for the music, my brother? Well, I'm going to send a shout out to <laughs> the Miss Opal Winfrey. I don't have a present because I can't afford one to send you, but I'm going to send out my wishes and blessings and thank you so much for what you do. You don't have to give any money away. Uh-huh. Just your presence of what you've done has inspired a lot of people to be like you and so that they can do it too because you are a great example of what success is and how when you take control of your own destiny, you can make things happen. And I really applaud you. Happy birthday to you. And thank you so much for your inspiration, not only to African Americans, but to the world. Wow. Wow. Well said my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the greatness of comedian Shucky Ducky.